Elon Musk just announced to stop Tesla batteries immediately. Welcome to TechZen. It seems unlikely that the CEO of Tesla, who has big plans for the firm to massive produce its own batteries this year, will be able to meet these ambitious ambitions according to individuals who have knowledge of the industry and specialists. Even though Musk is known for achieving the impossible, starting with turning the EV manufacturer into the most valuable auto company in the world, it is likely that the difficulties of launching a new factory and developing a new way of manufacturing batteries will be too much for him to handle. A lot is riding on the outcome of this. This week, the prices of elements used to make batteries such as nickel reach all-time highs due to supply concerns stemming from the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. In January, Musk predicted that there will be a shortage of battery supplies next year, which implies that the production of batteries internally will be vital to the expansion of the company. Musk is changing the way that batteries are manufactured, according to Shirley Meng, a professor at the University of Chicago who has worked in the past with Maxwell, a company that specializes in battery technology and was recently acquired by Tesla. Maxwell was one of the companies that Tesla purchased. According to the study, manufacturing on a large scale and at a rapid pace is an incredibly tough task. I think they will definitely fall short of the ramp up of 4680 over the next year. Gene Munster, managing partner at the venture capital firm Loot Ventures, said in reference to the next generation EV battery. The corporation known as Loop Ventures is an investment firm. Despite the slow start, Munster believes that Tesla will eventually be successful in achieving its goals because of the company's track record of launching new models. Musk claims that manufacturing the batteries at scale will be extremely difficult, but they are essential to his goal of developing more affordable electric cars with longer ranges. If he is successful in this endeavor, Tesla will be in a better position to compete with an increasing number of companies. Panasonic Corp, CATL, and LG Energy Solution are some of the companies that supply Tesla with its battery cells. In the same way that other automakers do, Tesla purchases its battery cells from these companies. Musk made the statement that Tesla aims to make its own battery somewhere around the end of the year 2020. This would enable the company to decrease the cost of the most expensive component of an EV in half which will be a significant financial benefit. The new lithium-ion 4680 batteries from Tesla have a diameter of 46 mm and a length of 80 mm. They are capable of storing around 5 times the amount of energy as the company's current 2170 cells. The fact that Tesla is able to use a smaller overall number of new cells while keeping the same amount of energy and driving range leads to cost savings for the company. Tesla made the announcement at the end of March that it would begin selling Model Y sedans that are outfitted with its bigger battery cells. The sales launch took place on April 1. Musk has claimed that Tesla will be able to produce 100 gigawatt hours of battery capacity by the year 2020. This would be equivalent to 4680 individual batteries. This amount would be adequate to power approximately 1.3 million automobiles and would more than meet the demands of factories located in Texas and Germany. The delivery of around 1.4 million autos by Tesla is scheduled for this year. An industry analyst named Benchmark Mineral Intelligence made a forecast that was made public in the past and was provided to Reuters. This forecast indicated that the company would produce batteries for approximately 30,000 Model Y vehicles in 2024, with the number of batteries produced increasing to 484,000 in the following year. Double the difficulty The process of upgrading Tesla's battery production to a higher level will require a considerable amount of time and effort. The company plans to adopt a new production process called as dry electrode coating which will further complicate matters, making an already difficult situation even more difficult. Caspar Rolls, the chief data officer at Benchmark, made the observation that before you get to bulk manufacturing, there is a very lengthy process of fine-tuning the equipment. 
He went on to say that in order for Tesla to begin production in volume in 2023, the manufacturing process would need to be improved this year, which is the topic that will be addressed in the following announcement that he will make. Rawls claims that the manufacturing of batteries is challenging, and that this is true even for seasoned vendors. When Tesla made the announcement in January, the news that the company had produced its 1,000,000 cell was included in the statement. According to Benchmark's estimates, 1 million cells would only be able to provide power for 1,200 Model Ys. This suggests that Tesla has a ways to go before reaching its full potential. On the other hand, it did not state how long it took to get to that point in the process. Despite the fact that Tesla did not provide answers to the inquiries that were posed to the company concerning its battery business, the company did respond to indicate that it had received the emails. The Tesla Test Battery Factory located in Fremont, California is making considerable progress on the ramp curve as stated by Tesla's Senior Vice President Drew Beguino. During the month of January, Beguino made the aforementioned comment. At the same time, the company is preparing the infrastructure for the development of battery technologies at the factory that will soon be constructed in the state of Texas. According to his statements, the primary objective of Tesla is to drive yield quality and cost to ensure that we are ready for bigger volumes this year as we ramp up next year. An indicator of how ambitious the business is, is the fact that Tesla aims to beat out more established battery companies such as Panasonic and LG to the market with its 4680s. The icing on the cake for Tesla is the fact that it intends to implement a new production method known as dry electrode. Tesla was able to acquire this technology in 2019 when it purchased the California startup Maxwell Technologies. This will mark Tesla's first time utilizing this particular technological advancement. The following are some instances of industrial equipment as described by Musk. Doesn't exist, the beginning stages of the preparation have been carried out. The usage of a chemical slurry is a phase that is typically necessary in the manufacturing of batteries. However, this step can be fully emitted if dry electrodes are created instead of wet ones. This process has been required in the manufacturing of batteries for a very long time. In spite of the fact that Musk freely admits that getting it to run effectively will be a challenge, if it does work, it will be more efficient in its use of resources and will have lower total expenses. In November of 2020, he spoke at a symposium on European batteries and said that the truly difficult component is then scaling up that production and getting considerably improved dependability and safety with the cells. In spite of this, his estimation of the amount of time required is believed to be optimistic. Before the conventional production technique for lithium-ion batteries could be improved to be more efficient, it was necessary for battery makers to spend more than a decade perfecting the technology. According to Professor Meng, it's possible that Musk will have a Death Valley start when trying to scale up the dry electrode method. Despite this, Tesla will emerge victorious from the ordeal. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching and see you next time.